Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Ah! Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Welcome back to the Dapper Gentleman's Club and I'll wake. Damn amazed by this game, actually. I love this. Love hey, the handsome. Characters. This is going to yeah. be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Another coffee over there. I'm not gonna need that. Let's grab it. And. Yeah. Back to my controller. <laughs> okay. Switch on the coffee maker. Okay. Where is coffee maker? Where is the damn coffee maker? Woman, tell me, you have to know. Oh, page, manuscript page. Oh, let's read those. It's true yeah. what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lay in here in the snow while the yeah, Lord changed. Yeah, you can just pause it there if you want to read it. Read it. This was a late goodbye. Um, again, Thank here. You. The continuing freezing rain and heavy snowfall have necessitated a winter storm warning in the entire tri-state area. People are advised Very to stay indoors as many roadways are already closed. And city officials are not expecting snow crews to keep up with the weather. We're now on the third day of the blizzard. Where am I, by the way? Not expected to clear up anytime soon. I thought that we were in the forest. <laughs> what the heck? I thought we were back in time or something. Coffee's on! Great! It's not coffee. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Yeah, all of those out. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, really? you seem to think so last night. <laughs> oh, Ellie had to go last These look night. really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Out, woman. Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Why are you so scared? Honey, me? it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. 
When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. <laughs> Thanks for this. Ah. Well. Shit. I'm on the rage. I can't watch this. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff day. Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Sarah, where are you? Sarah! Everything seems to be fine. Oh, oh. I don't have the luxury of income. What do you think? Oh. Will need change and you can't change it in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day. Let's see that map. Very good. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? What Go to the back fuck? lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Mr. Park. Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? Peak. Shut up. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Uh, hey, 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 can you turn you can the light? The, the light's on. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I, I need it to be bright in here. Hey, hey, you, can you help I'll turn me? the lights on. Thank you, man, thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know I yeah. shouldn't even be in here? The cops, they got yeah, it fuck you. all wrong. See? Goodbye. Sure, sure, sure. I beat him up. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the gray float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Keep on moving. I couldn't go anywhere yet. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's life was at stake. Oh, oh, oh. Where's that to go? This is too damn hard. Listen, 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 you gotta listen. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Yeah. 
Alice's driver's license had been placed in the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Al! Al! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. So, oh, coffee, 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 coffee. I need coffee. Yeah, that's nice far. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. You have to write the story you I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their... Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emile Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Oh. Take it easy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have <laughs> business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. <laughs> I had Alan's to talk to someone. Boy. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! <laughs> Who's Max? That ass. What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy? and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? Well, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm Some missing a week, lit. and someone's got Alice, Do and everything's just- Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. All right, wait here. Sorry about that, I got some problems. So now I need to find the rest of the area. Wherever that is. Probably that guy over here. 
Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You run cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Aww. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Okay, let's find that form. Okay, boy, we're almost done here. Seriously, Al, you oh, can't just go and just meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha <laughs> ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, Thank you. too. Look, Al, you're asking Wait, me to believe that up. you shot a dude who went mm. into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves. Oh, where's the keys? Oh. And eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you... What did that do now? Hope I didn't do some, anything wrong. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI? Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Achoo! Achoo! Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! Where's my gun? should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Freaking scared me, bird. That's not a normal sound. Damn it. What's happening now? What's going on now? Oh. 
own rock soon. Nice. Oh, that sound again. <sighs> I can hear you. Anyone, please help. Hello? Back here. I'm back oh. here. You're fucked up, man. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Game true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Don't you die on me. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Oh, good job. Come on, I'll take a look. It's so. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Oh, no. Rusty! Rusty! What? The real battle? The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. I just need hunting licenses. <sighs> Are you rusty? Something had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. Something big. Please don't feed the animals. Uh. Fishing is for those losers who purchase a park fishing license. No bay. The park ranger's instructions. Oh, that's you. Yeah. You're a fast runner, too. Rusty, no! Never! Never approach any other one of the yards! Two bears and wolves! Never approach any other wildlife cl closer than 45 yards! Pets must be leashed! Yeah, at all times! Never! Leave your pet unattended! It is against what? the law! To remove any natural objects or historical artifacts! The Can you please shut up? Come out there, please. Yeah. This includes even. Uh, you two. Fire, please. Oh, pull that axe. Down the light. 
Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Al, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Everything's going to hell. What have you done, Al? Crazy man. It's fucked it all up. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Oh. Open toilet. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I dodged you. Oh god, this is a battery. Oh, oh here we go. We'll be done quicker. Phew. Oh. Save her. Run fast around. Shit, what's going on? Uh, up there. Good light. Oh, shotgun. I want that. Go on, go on, go on. Stuff at me. Oh. oh, I dodged that. <laughs> Get to the light. Get to the light. Oh, I, I dodged it. Very nice. Fucking axe man. Oh. oh, coffee.
can I? Ah, I'll go around. Bear alert. Oh shit. Oh, it's foggy. Damn, 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 damn. Come on, kiss the birds. 